Hello and here we go back again with another match day preview but first of all I have an unboxing to do yes it's a surprise unboxing or a mystery unboxing or whatever you want to call it I was approached on Instagram by somebody who works for a company called LU Soccer LU Soccer and there should be a picture on the screen right now if I'm doing my job correctly yes they wanted to me because they enjoyed me video or maybe they just plucked me out of the sky I don't know how they found out about me my little tiny little channel but they said we want to give you a free shirt for you to unbox on your channel and I thought where, where, what's the catch? What is the catch? You know, what is the catch? And they're like, there's no catch. You can have a free shirt, completely free. It's free. You can have it for free. I'm like, really for free? Yes, it is for free. But you have to unbox it on the TV or on your, on your channel. I said, well, oh, fair enough. Can I have a couple? And they went, no, you can have one for free. But every single month, you can have another one for free if you unbox it on your channel. And I will tell you about the ones that are coming up in the future at the end of this video. Stay tuned because you never know, I might be giving one or two away. But let's do this now and unbox this free shirt from LU Soccer. Now, the first one, I actually know what it is because I've decided to get something for someone who helps me on the channel. And I thought, yes, I will give him a little spread. Do a lot of work behind the scenes supporting me. And of course, it is my girlfriend. So I thought I'd get the one. She decided what she wanted. She's a massive Liverpool fan, a massive Liverpool fan. And we'll see what this is like. But it is a Liverpool shirt, a Liverpool. Oh, shirt. And as you can see, it is a goalkeeper shirt for Liverpool. This is what she wanted. Yes, Kat, this is what you wanted. But in the future, there will be mystery ones and I will have no clue what is coming in the post. And we will unbox this together. Now, I did get a small because she is only small. And, oh, let's have a look. Let's have a look at this shirt. That is actually quite a nice colour, isn't it? A cat, oh. It is a, it's a goalkeeping shirt. Now, I don't even know if this is a goalkeeping first team shirt, whether it's last year's or whether it's this year's. I have no clue whatsoever. But it is a small. Yes, it is a small. It is a men's small. It is has a Liverpool on there. The Liverpool FC. Liverpool FC. And like I said, in the future, the ones I do in box, they are, they are for, it is a Chinese. I think it is a Chinese firm. That, that looks like, a, I don't know, it looks like it's sewn in. Is that sewn in? Let's have a look. Now, I don't, do, do, are Liverpool still sponsored by Standard Chartered? Whatever that is, let's have a quick sneaky peek. Yes, that is actually sewn in. That is a sewn in, a sewn in embroidered badge. There you go. Now, I think online they're about between 20 and 40 pounds for one of these. 20 and 40 pounds for one of these. The quality is quite nice. It's the same sort of tick as the. It's, 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 yeah, it's the same as. It's the same as the blue one, the blue Sunderland one, because the same tick, because that is the same thickness where the red Sunderland shirt over there, it has no. You know, it doesn't stick out. And. Obviously, it's like, actually, it is actually a nice colour. So this, this is going to be a gift to Kath, yes, my girlfriend, and I'll be giving that to her because that's what she wanted. And that's the first shirt over and done with. So there you go. That is actually quite a nice shirt, a very nice quality shirt, very nice quality shirt. But in the future, I will be getting mystery shirts. Now, it will be mystery shirts from the Premier League, from La Liga, from all different European countries and, 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 and maybe even from, I don't know, from America, I don't know. But the mystery shirt, and I'll be letting you know about how you could possibly win a mystery shirt in the future. Because I have no need for them. But I want to promote the channel and I want to promote, obviously, I'm, I'm getting free. And if they're free, why not? 
Share the joy, share the joy. There we go. That is a nice shirt. Put that on there. So there we go. That is, thank you for LU Soccer and the lady I met on online from Instagram. Thank you very much. Now, hopefully send them more shirts once a month. Watch this space. They might decide that this is a big flop to kick me off and not give me any more. But there we go. Hopefully we'll be getting more. Now we move on to the preview. But before we start the preview, before we start the preview... I will leave a link for LU Soccer down below in the description for you to pop over and look at the reasonably priced shirts and other clothing and even footwear. Some nice trainers on there too. But yes, and also can you please, Scooby-Doo surprise to the channel, please. Scooby-Doo surprise. Can you please subscribe to the channel? Yes. Where the hell did Scooby-Doo surprise come from? Can you please subscribe to the channel? That we much appreciate it. We are closing in now. We we're closing in. We're less than we 80 odd. Only 80 odd away from 15,000 subscribers. To so everybody out there who hasn't subscribed and you want to be in with a chance of winning one of those shirts. And if I get some more unboxing shirts in the future, future and you want to be in a chance of winning a random shirt, I will be ordering mediums or larges or whatever. Please subscribe, you've got to be a subscriber. Now we're moving on to the match preview of Sheffield United versus Sunderland. Yeah, it's actually really is too small for me. <laughs> so again, thank you LU Soccer for that free shirt and that actually looks a bit bigger than a small men's. A small men's is actually, I, I couldn't fit into that. So maybe it is a small men's. Maybe it might be too big for Kath, but never know. We'll let her try it on. We'll see what happens. So Sunderland travelled down to Sheffield United on Wednesday night for a kickoff at Bramall Lane. Interesting fact about Bramall Lane. Bramall Lane is the oldest football ground in the world that is currently still being used apparently it's the oldest football ground in the world it started off in 1855 as a cricket ground but then when Sheffield United were formed back in 1889 it moved to football so there we go Sheffield United has the oldest football ground that actually still being in use now in existence in the world but we do move on to Sheffield United it was formed, like I said, back in 1889, 133 years young. Now at Bramall Lane, it holds 32,000 plus fans. The capacity at there, the 32,000 plus fans. Now the last time we actually beat Sheffield United in the league was back in 2005. We won 1-0 with a goal from Marcus Stewart. Yes, a goal from Marcus Stewart. Back in that day, we had George McCartney and Danny Collins in goal. But who was the goalkeeper for Sheffield United? Yes, it was Paddy Kenny. Paddy Kenny. Remember Paddy Kenny? Head-to-heads with Sheffield United. We've won 66. We have won 66. We've drawn 26 and we've lost 51. So we actually have done really well throughout the big history of Sheffield United versus Sunderland or Sunderland versus Sheffield United. But for the purposes of this video, it's Sheffield United versus Sunderland. Now the owner of Sheffield United is a man called Abdullah bin Musid al Saad. 57-year-old Prince Abdullah. Yes, he owns the Blades. Now, I don't know what his wealth is, but somebody out there let me know in the comments below. What is the wealth of Prince Abdullah? Prince Abdullah. Now, Paul Heckingbottom is the manager of Sheffield United. He was an interim manager, but now he's a manager. He's been in charge for 30-plus games. 34 games, in fact. Won 17, drawn 8, lost 9. With a very handsome 50% win ratio there. Very handsome 50% win ratio. Now, Sheffield United have done well last season. Now, weren't they in the playoffs? And didn't they get beaten in the playoffs off Nottingham Forest in the semi-final? Was that the game? They did, yes. Now, the first three games of this season, they got beat against Watford 1-0 in a very good game of football. A good team, Watford, Sheffield United is going to be the, the biggest, the hardest so far of our matches in, back in the Championship. This will be the biggest test we've faced so far back in the Championship. But the next game, they beat Millwall at home 2-0. And then they drew against the Berra. So they've won one, they've drawn one, they've lost one. They've got four points and the one point behind Sunderland who currently sit in fifth place. Now, if we 
kept a clean sheet like I suggested we were going to in the last video, we'd have been top of the table above Hull. But we're not going to get into that QPR game because we all know my thoughts on that and that made me very depressed at the weekend. Wait, we'll call it sad, depressed. No, I wasn't depressed. I was just sad. I was very sad. People said I was crying on YouTube. Clearly, I don't cry on football, but I was very sad. Very sad indeed. Now, the Middlesbrough game, they did play the 3-5-2 with the wing-back system. And Billy Sharp was up front. Now, Billy Sharp is one hell of a player. 36 years of age. Evergreen. You know, he still looks as good as ever. And he's been, he, 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 he's been there since 2015. 246 games he's played for Sheffield United. And then he scored 107 goals. Billy Sharp is the one to look out for. He is on the top end of the spectrum. 36 years of age with all that experience. But then they've got this youngster from France who plays for Senegal. He's had one start. Start for Senegal, just a 22 year old youngster, and he has scored some cracking goals. Cracking goals in his 33 games for Sheffield. He's a midfielder, he scored eight, and his name is Ian Man. I knew what I was gonna say, I knew what his name was. Nadir, I want to say, I want to say, Nadir. But it's it's not it's it's like Najai Najai is it Najai is that correct is it Najai is that his name Najai the young lad from Senegal he looks an absolute star in the making let's have a look at one of his goals now if I can get it on YouTube have a look now look and now launch a counter attack of their own here's Najai through the centre circle powerful run marauding ball he gets the shot away and he scores has it finished it. Okay, there you go. He's a class act. He's going to be a good player. He's going to be a good player. Another couple of interesting facts to do with Sheffield United. You know, you think of songs when you go to football matches. Some you don't really sing as much now. Back in my day, we did sing that a lot. When I was back at Roker Park, we always sang this when I was young. And the song is 1898, when it was, when it was invented by Sheffield, by, she by the Blades, by Sheffield United. It was who ate all the pies. Who ate all the pies? You fat bastard, you fat bastard. You ate all the pies, there we go, ate all the pies. I feel like I've been eating a lot of pies lately because I'm getting a bit of a, I'm not fat, but I've got a bit of belly, a little tiny little bit of belly coming up, you know what I mean? And also, Sean Bean is one of their big fans and he starred in that movie and it was called When Saturday Comes Back in 2004. So yeah, Sheffield is going to be a really difficult game on Wednesday night, our, our biggest test to date. It's going to be the biggest test to date. The biggest hit. So before we go into the football shenanigans of who's going to replace unlucky Ballard, Ballard, I can't believe it. I can't believe it, man. You know, there's another reason why I was really sad on Saturday. Just because we dropped two two points and we, we lost two goals. We lost one of the two only players we brought into it. It really, really sort of bolstered the squad this season. It only happened to Sunderland. Ballard. He looks, he looks really good. He looks really good. I wish him a speedy recovery, but it was a nasty, it was a nasty injury. It was accidental, accidental apparently. It was a nasty injury, and I'm absolutely good for the young lad. I hope he comes back. Oh, it said six to eight weeks, but I hope it's quicker than that. And you know, I, I do wish him all the best, along with the other lad. You know, Sims. Sims looks class. He's top goal scorer with Vyman in the league with three goals apiece, and I've taken forty to one for Sims. I think I've just ruined Sims' opportunity now of being top goal scorer. But you never know. You never know. You never know. It's all about, not about luck. No, it's not about luck. It's about skill. Pure skill. There we go. I will be doing a live stream for this game on Wednesday night. So do, do join in. I will be doing a live stream. So join in on Wednesday night. Now going forward with these with these shirts, going forward with the shirts to do with the LU soccer shirts. The LU. If I get another free shirt... A mystery unboxing, what I will do, I will unbox it on the preview, like I have done this one, and then anybody who gets the correct score between Sunderland or whoever they play in that preview, not that shirt, the next mystery shirt, whoever gets the correct score will go into a hat, I will pull out the winner, and that person will get that shirt that I have just unboxed, regardless of whoever it is. As long as it's not Newcastle, I suppose. But there we go, so I hope 
I hope you're going to join in with that mind. But what, what I will do in the preview as well is have a question to make sure you actually watch it, not just put a score down. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to test you and ask you to answer to that question because it'd be very easy. It'll be like, what's the first letter in the alphabet? Something like I don't know. But anyway, so we're going to go on to the team on Wednesday night. Now I predict there's going to be only one change. Clearly, it's not rocket science. Only one change on Wednesday night. And I do think that change is going to be Bailey Wright. I think Bailey Wright will come in and start his first start in a shirt this season. That will be the that will be the starting eleven. I think it will be. I don't think it's going to change anything to do with it. You know, we've played. I mean, as much as I was disappointed on Saturday. We have played really good football. We played really good football in the first half. I thought we dominated most of the game and I thought we just fell away with the lack of depth in the squad. And I'm hoping, you know, the team are going to learn from that, how to, how to combat, getting a bit more pressure. Because it's going to be, we're not going to be able, I don't think we're going to be able to dominate the game and go out like we did against Bristol City and probably score the first goal. I think Sheffield will really be going for this. We've got to make sure we... We, uh, you know, what's the best form of defence is attack? I don't know. But anyway, a score prediction. I'm going to go, like I said the other day, it's a really strange score prediction because I kind of win my own shirts. I'm not really bothered. So I'm going to go up for three to Sheffield United, four to Sunderland. I'm going to go with the Sims hat-trick. There we go. Sims hat-trick to put on top of the goal scorer and hopefully get closer to my... 40 to 1. Anyway, there we go. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please take care. God bless me. God go with you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to leave your score prediction down below. And you've got to be a subscriber to be in with a chance of getting into this table. Now, here is the table before we go. I will say the table. I was going to show the table. I will say to the people who got the correct score of Sunderland 2, Queen's Park Rangers 2. Now, it is the big book of C. There we go, the big book of C. And the people who got the correct score, there were a few more than I actually thought. Well done to Sean Pritchard. Any relation to Pritchard, Sean? Sean Pritchard, David Ozel, George Mack, Paul Crampton, Liam Nickel. Michael M.M., Mr. Moonchee, C.P.Z., David Newell, and two people who have got two correct scores so far in the league and are top of the league with two points, Chris Wilkins and astronaut Kaz Laplaire. There we go. But all everybody else's names who are on here, have a quick look, see if you can see yourself on there. There we go. A quick sneaky peek. Are you on there? Are you on there? Are you on there? Who ate all the pies? Who ate all the pies? You, you, you ate all the pies. There's some names on there. And we'll quickly go over to this one. Ah. When you walk through a storm, hold your head up high. There we go. I do like that song. I do like that song, that Liverpool, that Liverpool anthem. It's a good song. Very good song. So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Again, don't forget to subscribe. Take care. God bless me. God go with you. And it would be much appreciated if you give this a thumbs up. If you've really enjoyed the content, give it a thumbs up. See you later. Hopefully three points with the live stream on Wednesday night.